So today is the day that we are officially sailing on the Disney Wish. <laughs> At we here in the terminal, one of the inaugural sailings here for the Disney Wish. Exciting times. We'll be staying over in the actual tower suite on top of the ship. Very cool. This is where you check in, you know, make sure everything's all settled for your cruise. They have a model ship over here and then the port that you would actually enter in to go into the ship. Very exciting. So we're excited to go on the Wish. Been on every other cruise line with Disney has. And we're gonna see, look at this. It's a model of the ship or one of the original ones. We'll be staying in a funnel just like this right here. So exciting times. So as you guys can see, this is the ship right here, the Disney Wish. Our room is actually right above there. See that red funnel right there? That is where we'll be staying on our cruise ship. It's a two story bedroom tower suite up at the top so it'll be an exciting time you cross over here onto the ship the yellow lifeboats looks like every other disney wish or disney cruise line very pretty nice little uh shot of the wish exciting time so come with us while we experience the disney wish for the first time so now we are finally boarding onto the ship what's pretty fun about the cruise is that they actually announce your family name right when you come on board So you announce your family name right when you come on the ship. So here is the lobby of the cruise line. Very cool. They have a nice stage over here. Wow, look at that. And look who's up there waving to us. Belle, a nice ceiling over here. This lobby is absolutely gorgeous. And you got the Cinderella statue right over there. Wow. Awesome, look at that. A Disney Wish wand. Very cool. Royal revelers, welcome, welcome one and all. I am Lord Leopold, one of the fairy tale players and keepers of Once Upon a Time here in the Grand Hall. So on the count of three, let's wish for enchantment and adventure and call out together, wishes do come true. Ready? One, two, three, wishes do come true! Ooh, oh. It worked! It worked like a charm! Or like a wish. A Disney wish. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we're joined by Princess Belle. A bonjour, Belle. <laughs> well, I don't mean to keep you. You may go along your way. So we are staying on the concierge level up here and they actually provide sunblock, which is great on the concierge level. Nice little seating areas, your own hot tubs. Like, look at this. A whole view on the concierge. Uh. Look at that, all this Beautiful. nice champagne. Wonderful. Which one's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is the Pat Ginger. Ooh. Yeah, but I need to run inside to get some more. Tea. What a great thing about the concierge level is unlimited free champagne on this cruise ship. So this is the only time you could do it. On the day you actually come on board, you're allowed as an adult to go down this slide right here, which is very, very cool. Look at this. There I go. Oh. 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 So the slide takes you down to the kids club and they have a little entrance here where you can check in at the Oceaneers Club. Very, very cool. So over here they have an Imagineering little section. You can look at different ride systems and they have a little prop shop here. There's something from the Festival of Lion King, stuff from Animal Kingdom, you got a tower. So part of the Imagineering little area they got going on here, they have a replica of the ship with some designs that they did. Look at that. So besides this room over here, they have this whole area right here for Imagineering. So especially for your little ones who are inspired by Imagineering and Disney, this is a great little club area. Look at, they got the house, they got the little vest on the wall. We got lots of fun props and lots of things that, you know, inspire the Imagineers, which can inspire a lot of younger sailors. Look at this. We got the Guardians of the Galaxy one. They got Star Wars. They've got Mystic Manor. Cool. I wish I was yay high and can go and do all this. This is here. Now we got the Marvel Superhero Academy over here on this side. Look how cool this is inside here. Like, look at this. Such a cool way, you know, just to get involved you know with your favorite franchises you got pin technologies you got this going on look at this this kid's playing as iron man 
Now, if I was a Marvel fan, man, I would love this. We got Black Widow's suit right here. Got Black Panther technology here. Look at that. So one of the other final rooms here, we have Star Wars Cargo Bay. And man, this looks like you're ready to go on the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, what it looks like in here. You got certain different characters, creatures. Look at this. A loath cat. Look at him sleeping. That'll be me tonight. Wow, what a, what a cool place to be if you're a kid. If you're a kid, the Disney wish is for you. Now look at these purple stairs right here. That's cool. I'm telling you, man, if I was if I was yay high and still a kid, this would be the best place ever. Here's another view of how the slide's going down. Kids just slide right down that thing. It's pretty fast, honestly. Very cool, they got Cinderella's glass slipper right here. And look who's up there now. It's Tiana and Naveen. Come on this way. I'm so close. So on every Disney cruise, they have a little uh, sailing away party, and this one is starting just right now on the Disney Wish. A little fun going on here. We got Donald, we got Pluto. It's a real party. Fancy. You can hear the horn. Wow. Look at this, guys. The ship is moving. We're about to head out. Okay, so our first dinner on the wish we are gonna be eating at Arendelle we are excited for this because it's like a dinner show we're gonna see Anna we're gonna see Elsa we might see Olaf we're not sure but we're very excited for this dinner Arendelle dinner show mm. now the way into this restaurant look at this look at all the theming we got here we got Olaf over here we got Anna and Elsa and their parents what a nice lovely holiday to walk down not Disney princesses but they are Disney Queens Wow, now look at this, guys. We have the Anna and Elsa statues right here, the two queens of this restaurant. This is gonna be an experience like no other. So we are eating at table 212, right in front of the stage. So you know this is gonna be a good view of the dinner show. So here's the menu for the Anna and Elsa dinner. We got the salad from the kettle, the smorgasbord, the entrees, the lighter note, a nice little bread service. So 
sorry to interrupt this dinner show, but I did just realize I did not explain anything in my whole trip about the food I ate. So here I am now going to explain what I ate. I got myself and I started off with Sven's creamy carrot soup. And let me tell you, it was creamy. <laughs> And then for my entree, I did get the ribeye steak. And I usually get that prepared around medium well. To top it off, I got myself some butter cake with some vanilla cream and hints of flavor of berry in. Delicious. Sorry for disrupting that dinner show, but I will be back later on in this video to explain what else I ate on this cruise. But next, we'll be going to the Kiss Goodnight, which is such a unique event on this Disney Wish cruise. Come and join us. So in a few moments, we will be experiencing the Kiss Goodnight. This happens on the Disney Wish. You lay it on the ground as people are laying right now, and you just look at the stars. It's a, it's a, it's a fun experience. So we're here to experience it tonight. The whole ceiling changes. It's a whole, it's a whole, sh a whole shindig. I'm laying down now, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but I am laying down on the cruise ship on the stage, but the uh, kiss goodnight is about to happen, so stay tuned. The kiss goodnight, here we go. Mm -hmm. So the kiss goodnight really happened here, guys. So part of our stay, we are staying actually right up here in the nice funnel room. So that's a pretty cool room that we have. A nice little view. Definitely a fun time. So we're gonna take the elevator up right here. Your own private elevator. How fancy is that? Now you gotta scan your ID. It's the 14th floor and we are up. It's pretty cool. Your own private elevator up to your own room. Only you can access this elevator and you can only go to floors 10 to 14, actually not 11. So here we are, we're gonna come around the corner. You can either take the stairs they have or they have a set of elevators. But this, this is what we're here for. The Wish Tower Suite. So let's come on in because we are actually are staying here right now. Wow, look at this. This room is absolutely gorgeous. There is themed after Moana. You can see right there, we got the theming already for your guests to come in. Nice little powder room right here. Fancy. So we're gonna come out here actually and check out the living room first. So as you can see, this is the living area space. They got a little wet bar back here. Well, I'll show you in a little second, but you can see the details about Moana here. Look at this. Awesome, it's just very subtle. And you know, the TV can go up and down. You get a beautiful view. Past here, you got the bar right here. All your fancy glasses behind this door right here. Yeah, look at that. Get some wine glasses. Now this room right here, this is a bedroom as well as a library. So this is, can be pulled down as a bed, queen size bed. And this is the bathroom for the one bedroom already. See double sinks. You got yourself a nice shower. You got yourself the fancy soap because this soap right here is only in this room. So it's very, very fancy. So you got your towels right here with the Disney Cruise Line logo. Look at that, very fancy. So we're gonna go check out this room. So the bed pulls down right here. As you see, there's more Moana theming going on here. So it's very cool. Now the best part about this room, right to the slide. Isn't that crazy? You can go right from your bed right to the slide. Now coming out of the bedroom, we are coming back into the living space with a dining room table. And I was saying over here, we have the kitchenette area. So we're gonna come on in here. You got yourself a sink, a little champagne, to keep your silverware, 
a fridge. Look at this, a full-size fridge on a Disney cruise and fully stocked Evian water. We got the Coke, we got the milk, we got sparkling water. We even have a little cappuccino maker or some hot tea. So you are fully stocked at this bar. So we're gonna actually go check out the other bedrooms up these stairs. So there's three bedrooms up on the second floor. You take this set of stairs. The first bedroom is right here. As you can see, it's a nice king size bed, nice desk area. And wait till you see one of these bathrooms. This is just one of the two bathrooms that are beautiful up here. Look at that tub. Now that is a tub to take a bath in on a cruise ship, by the way. This is a cruise ship. The bathroom's in here, the toilet, and then you got this nice shower, coarse waterfall. Very beautiful, very elegant with the robes, concierge logo, fancy, fancy enough. So we're gonna check out the bunk room, but before we go in, I wanna point this out. Look at this beautiful artwork of Moana, the small little details, and guess what? I was shocked to see this, and downstairs too, these flowers are real. They are real flowers, people. So we're gonna come in here, and there's something very cool about this room. Look at that. Stars on the ceiling? I think so. Look at this, all this beautiful Moana artwork. Coming around here, you got the bunk bed, and you know what? This bunk bed is actually pretty spacious. It can easily fit up here. Nice little cozy little bunk bed. Mm, nice and cozy. Six foot five approved. We have the bathroom for the bunk bed. Very nice size bathroom for a cruise ship. You know, look at this beautiful wall right here. Nice shower, same with the rainfall. We're gonna go check out the final master bedroom. You can pan off and see if Cape Canaveral, wow. That is absolutely beautiful. And this is the final room. So the TVs actually do come up from the wall in front of the bed, as you can see, which is very cozy. And then the final bathroom, which is the biggest of them all, double sinks. You got yourself another giant tub, a nice stool to relax after your bath, and this shower. One of the larger showers you see on a cruise ship for sure. Same thing with the rainfall and the fancy soap they got. And like I said, the toilets, they're right here in a private little room. Very nice. From the rooms, you actually can view down into the living room and look down. You can actually look out. And the funny thing is people can actually see you inside if the window curtains are open. I'll show you guys how to shut those in a moment. These curtains, they have this press button right here. So if you want to blinds control and press close, you will see the blinds are starting to close for some private. And if you want to open them, just hit open and it will go the other way. Fancy. You got yourself a wine cabinet, another mini fridge right here. You can see this as well. So this is pretty cool. And it came fully stocked with some champagnes, which is cool. Oh yeah, we'll be opening up these later today. But very cool that it comes with some champagne, a little kitchenette sink here to wash. It's me again, sorry to disrupt the video, but we are here now at the Marvel Dining Experience here on the Disney Wish. And let me tell you, this is one of the most unique dining experiences that I had on the Disney Wish. So come on along and have some dinner with us and hopefully we meet some superheroes. To start off, we got ourselves a nice marble bread. It came with a red pepper chili sauce. Asking why I didn't shrink down, go in, and uh, kill Thanos in a really creative way. First of all, gross. Secondly, it's much more complicated than that. Allow me to explain. If only we had the time. Anyway, tonight, through the power of quantum science, we will show you how together we can change the world. Yeah, now look, don't worry, kids. Quantum science sounds overwhelming, but trust me, it is. <laughs> These are quantum cores, cutting edge technology that for the first time allows us to specifically target our PIM particles to shrink or grow just about anything. Please don't get any crumbs on it. When we give you the direction, you push the buttons on your cores, 
and they send a signal to the regulator here, which in turn remotely targets an object to shrink or grow. Easy, right? I'll show you. Let's shrink something already, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna this for my cat. Because I couldn't fit it under the bed. Oh, this. Target wire, quantum cores are online. Prepare to push your buttons. Ready? In three, two, push one. about bringing quantum tech to a cruise ship. Look at this crowd. You try keeping their attention. But look, that guy's still eating. <laughs> the kid and I'll hold them all while you do. Kid? This marvel is tearing up with the star stable. Man of plenty of the metal rock. Throw down on the happy baby. <clears throat> Shoot. Hi, hi, Captain. At ease. I mean, take it easy. And what did I say about the boat captain jokes? Well, I should make them at every chance I get. Just stay sharp and watch me. Oh my god! Oh, what? What is it? I want to slide a stick! Like good sick, not like seasick, kind of sick, but um, totally feeling right now. Oh, I mentioned I've never been. And I got myself for an appetizer the bow buns, which was delicious. <laughs> For my entree, I got myself the Mystic Pasta, which was delicious. Instead of the scallops, I got was the side of the ribeye steak and combined the both. They want to congratulate us? They want us off the ship. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, look, let me skip ahead. I have a surprise for everyone. No, no more surprises, please. No, this will be sweet. For dessert, I got myself the Pim Donut Sundae. And let me tell you, this was such a unique and fun Sunday. They always had some great Sundays available on the Disney Wish. Good morning, guys. We are going to be heading down for lunch today. We are at NASA in the Bahamas, but I'm not going to get off the ship. I'm going to actually go explore the ship today, you know, take advantage of, you know, people on, on land, a little less lines. But come on with us. We're going to take a nice little trip around the ship, have lunch first. I think we're going to try the burrito spot. So come on in. This is a nice little private elevator they have for us. So all you gotta do is just scan your key like this. It takes a little bit of a minute. And then you just go right to the deck. Very fun, very fancy. So this is the way to live, you know? Private little elevator down to the top deck. I'm excited for lunch, it's like Chipotle. And this is the door actually that leads right out, out of the funnel. As you can see, it's a very easy access. You see the Royal Caribbean over there, kids area, and there's our room. Now it's time for lunch. And what's very cool about this ship too, and a lot of the Disney cruise lines, they actually play movies and shows. Right now they're showing Hercules, but they showed her, uh, Mo not Moana, Frozen before. So it's very, very fun. Lots of pools, you know. This I think this is like the most pools I've ever seen on a Disney cruise. You got one, two, three, four, at least six pools I see just in the family area. So you can actually get pizza right over here, which is very cool. But we're actually going to go for the burrito station today. A little uh, Chipotle on the Disney Wish. Oh, look at that line. Holy moly, that's a huge line. That is no joke for this. So we got Donald's Canteen. Donald's Cantina here is like a little style Chipotle. You can get tacos, burritos, bowls, anything you imagine. I blame the hype of uh, Chipotle for this. Uh, can I do the chicken? 
and like a little bit of pork in it. The best thing about this, look at all these different sauces they have. Garlic hot sauce. Ooh, I just want to try so many of these. Look at this. They got the sauce. You know what time it is. It's dinner time. And tonight we are dining at 1923. This restaurant is very unique. It has two different dining rooms, one for Roy Disney and one for Walt Disney. And tonight we'll be dining at the Walt Disney side. This restaurant is based off of pretty much the company's history that was founded in 1923 by Walt and Roy. And it celebrates, you know, all hundred years of the company. There's a lot of fun Easter eggs inside the restaurants, more than I can even explain. But what better way to celebrate the Disney 100 than to dine at the 1923 restaurant. So come along. As you can see right there, 1923, they have tons of like artwork, props. You can see from Tangled, you got Flynn Rider's bag, Belle, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, all types of design for the characters and inspirational arts. have to get the soup from the kettle. I got myself the nice corn chowder. It was like a potato base, very creamy, delicious. And then I got myself the split Napa baby romaine lettuce Caesar dressing salad. And then for my entree, of course, I had to get the 1923 peppered flame mignon. That was one of the best flame mignons I ever had for sure on the seven seas. Of course, a classic Disney churro is gonna be at the 1923 restaurant. And on top of that, the 1923 Sunday. And that Sunday, let me tell you, it hit the spot. After dinner treat, look who is down here on the main stage in the lobby. We got Captain Minnie and we got Chip and Dale, first mates, down here meeting guests. What a fun time. Good morning, guys. We are on our final day here on the Disney Wish, and we are to the Disney's private island, Castaway K, which is always the highlight of the Caribbean cruises. As you can see, the water is blue. Lots of activities in the future. So come with us. We got a nice cabana right over there. It'll be a fun time over by the adult beach. But man, this island was one of my favorite highlights from the Disney Cruise. It's just so fun and just can't wait to go off for the bike ride too. My bike ride, the bike ride is probably hands down one of my favorite things to do here on the island. But what a beautiful day. The sun is shining. We got the cup of coffee. Always got to start off right. We got the lifeguard staring at nobody in the pool. So it'll be a good day. Wow. So on today's adventure, we are going on a bike ride to the island. As you can see, there's so many different natural resources. The island is absolutely gorgeous time. So come along with us while we go for a bike ride on Castaway K. Beautiful day, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Like what I said, if you come to Castaway K, you have to go rent a bike to explore the island. It's just so much fun. Guys, I'm telling you, you get, it's absolutely gorgeous out. Riding your bike through the island is probably hands down one of the top moments of my life. But it's so beautiful. Look at the runway behind us. Think I can land a plane on here? Shout out John, Disney pilot. So we are actually staying in one of the cabanas here on the island. So this is a little area right here. You need a wristband, which we have right here, but let's go check out our cabana real quick. It's beautiful back here. They're like little villages. So here's our cabana right here, Cabana 7, and it's a great view. Let me show you. So the cabana has your own private access to the beach. Come look over there. That was the wish. What a beautiful day. What a place to go float around on the water, sit on a tube. It's so relaxing. Palm trees are beautiful, the like, greenery everywhere. It's so nice. Like a little island out there. Of course, we are on Castaway K at everyone's favorite cookies barbecue. You got to get yourself the ribs. Those ribs are so good. The burger, they have salads, they have cookies, they have corn on the cob, they have everything you need, roasted chicken, they even have soft serve ice cream on this island. Let me tell you, Cookies Barbecue is no joke. You gotta come here with an appetite. Alright guys, are you guys going on the Alright guys, I know I haven't been filming too much so far, but man, it is a hot day here in Castaway K. As you guys can see, 
We got the cruise ship right there in the distance. We are sitting in a tube. Man, this is the life. The water is really warm. This is like bath water. And I noticed a lot of people actually left to go back to the ship because of how hot it is. But honestly, I can't see myself going back to the ship. This is literally the life. What more could you ask for right now? Please let me know. Let me know in the comments. What's better than sitting in an inner tube in Castaway Cay looking at the Disney Wish? Oh, man. I'm living. Guys, if I could picture a better scenario right now, I couldn't. All right, guys, so shout out to our cabana neighbor over there at Cabana 8. Gave us the leftover avocado margarita that the concierge made. Look at this, it's in a jar. Like, so it's very interesting. So I got a cup right here of it. It's kind of like green and pasty. Never had an avocado margarita. Everyone, please don't judge, but we'll see how it tastes. Okay, so the avocado margarita right here, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's like, it, the texture is very pasty. I don't know if I taste avocado, but I taste alcohol, but it was free. Our neighbor of the cabana gave it to us, so we cannot complain. You know, free avocado margarita, that's the way to live. Um, so my family is from diabetes, uh, genetic. Um, and as you get older, and as you experience a lot of different things, you'll realize it. I'm on the cruise actually in the adult area. You know, you have to hit it at the last day, but we have the nice little infinity pool overlooking Castaway K. Now this, I said out there in the ocean that that was cozy, like right out there. This right here is definition of cozy. A nice little infinity pool overlooking the whole island. Okay. I thought I couldn't be beat, but here we are again. The Disney wish never seems to let me down, you know, everything we do. It's something always fun and experience. So the best part about the concierge level is the happy hour here at five o'clock. I got myself a mojito today. Thank you. You're welcome. Sadly, our cruise is coming to an end. We're at our final dinner here on the Disney wish. We're eating again at 1923 with a special little twist. It's pirates night. R. So <laughs> they have a special menu dedicated to pirates night. And also a beautiful fireworks show right off the Disney Wish. They shoot them off right in front of the ship, and you get to watch it right at sea. Now that's pretty cool. So come along, grab your eye patches, and let's go get some treasure. Okay, guys, so tonight we are doing Pirates of the Caribbean Nights, Pirate Night on the Disney Cruise Line, one of the staples here for the Disney Cruise Line. So we're gonna look at the menu and see what they offer. <laughs> wow, look at all this specialty items. Let's see, it's gonna be a good night. Carrot and cilantro soup. It was okay. And for dinner, we got ourselves the marinated 48 hour jerk chicken. It was probably my least favorite out of all the desserts in the Disney Wish, the rum soaked chocolate cake. It tasted like they poured a bottle of rum on my dessert. Okay guys, so we are here at the Pirate Party. This is pretty cool. They do a whole little show. We got live music and they have a special thing. You know, I, I believe Disney Cruise Line might be the only ones that do this, but a Disney fireworks show at sea. That's some magic right there. So come and join us for a little party of the Pirates. Thing about the treasure. On the 24th day, 
look at these fireworks. It is the next day. I just got home from the Disney Wish. I do apologize for not filming my process of getting off the ship. I was saying goodbye to family. I was having breakfast and I was making sure I didn't forget anything in my room. <laughs> but thank you for coming along. And if you ever have the opportunity to book a Disney cruise, I would highly take advantage of that. It was one of my favorite experiences. Even though it was only four days, it felt like a week. I was so exhausted after the fireworks last night. I went right to bed. But thank you for coming along and see you guys soon on the next video. I forgot to mention this cruise was very, 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 very cozy.